We recently had asked of us a great question about Jesus as he's being crucified. In Luke chapter 23, he looks at the thief beside him and says, you will be with me this day in paradise. Where is paradise and what is paradise? I think the Bible gives us a a clear definition of what paradise is. And I, I think it's the direct presence of God. I think it's a celestial kingdom. And the reason I think that is because of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 2 to 4, and Revelation chapter 2 and verse 7. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 2 to 4, Paul's talking about going into the celestial kingdom before the presence of God. And you'll see in verses 2, he talks about the celestial kingdom. And then in verse 4, he refers to the celestial kingdom as paradise. Paul's using that word interchangeably. The word paradise is actually a Persian-derived word. It was a place of of, uh, bliss. It was a place that the Persians would uh, use to build gardens. They would build these gardens. People of wealth especially would build them on top of their homes. It was a place of solace and rest and comfort. They would go up there to relax. And and those who had such a place or the means to be in such a place, it was looked at as heavenly. And so the word for paradise began to be adopted as a word that described a heavenly atmosphere. And so Paul's using that word to describe heaven in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and and verses 2 to 4 as the celestial kingdom. And I believe uh, John does it in Revelation chapter 2 verses 7. So when Jesus says to the thief, you'll be with me this day in paradise, I think it's indicating to us that after Christ's crucifixion, he went and let captives free in, in Abraham's bosom. And he took everyone with him straight to paradise.